वेलकम वी विल स्टार्ट विद सम बेसिक क्वेश्चन एंड देन गो इन डिटेल फर्स्ट वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन वाई डब्ल्यू एफ आई सैम्पलिंग इज डन इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री डब्ल्यू एफ आई दैट इज वॉटर फॉर इंजेक्शन सैम्पलिंग इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री इज कंडक्टेड टू एन्श्योर दैट द वॉटर मेड्स स्ट्रिंजेंट क्वालिटी स्टैंडर्ड्स सच एज दोज डिफाइंड बाय फार्माकोपियाज फॉर माइक्रोबियल एंड केमिकल प्योरिटी दिस वन इज वेरी फ्रिक्वेंटली आस्क एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन इज As per USP Chapter Number One Two Three One, what are the acceptance criteria for WFI? Here are the four important tests, and their acceptance criteria are mentioned as per USP Chapter Number One Two Three One for WFI. First test is TOC, that is Total Organic Carbon Testing. Acceptance criteria is less than 500 ppb. Second test, conductivity at 25 degree Celsius. Acceptance criteria is less than 1.3 micro siemens per centimeter. third test bacteria acceptance criteria is less than 10 cfu per 100 ml here cfu stands for colony forming units fourth important test is for endotoxin and their acceptance criteria is 0.25 eu per ml here eu stands for endotoxin units what are the different sampling techniques for water sampling in the pharmaceutical industry point of use sampling online sampling grab sampling and composite sampling are the four important sampling techniques for water sampling in pharma industry what precautions shall be taken during wfi sampling here are the six important precautions that shall be taken during wfi sampling first use sterile equipment second wear appropriate garments third employ aseptic techniques fourth handle water samples with care fifth maintain documentation and sixth control temperature important question what is frequency for water sampling in pharma industry for wfi that is water for injection and purified water systems these are typically sampled daily to ensure compliance with stringent microbial and chemical purity requirements for critical point of use samplings sampling frequency can be higher such as multiple times a day especially in areas critical to product quality and safety very basic question what type of sampling container shall be used for wfi sampling for wfi sampling in the pharmaceutical industry use containers made of high quality non reactive materials such as borosilicate glass or high density polyethylene that is hdpe that are pre sterilized and endotoxin free to prevent contamination and preserve samples integrity why wfi sampling shall be done by trained personnel the collection and testing processes are critical procedures that need to be performed by highly trained technicians to avoid false positive results false positive results may arise due to contamination during the sampling by improper techniques poor hygiene habits or inadequate sterilization methods why wfi valve flushing is done before performing sampling wfi valve flushing is performed before sampling to remove stagnant water and potential contaminants ensuring the sample reflects the true quality of the water in the system why air tight containers shall be used for wfi sampling for toc analysis air tight containers are used for wfi sampling for toc analysis to prevent contamination and volatilization ensuring accurate measurement of organic carbon levels what is true point of use for water sampling the destination of that water where it will be used for product formulation or cleaning or where it enters a manufacturing process is the true point of use how often should wfi systems be sampled for endotoxins daily sampling is recommended under usp chapter number 85 for bacterial endotoxin test ensuring endotoxin levels are within limits basic and important which pharmacopeia provides guidelines for water sampling in the pharmaceutical industry usp that is united states pharmacopeia and ep that is european pharmacopeia are primary sources for regulatory compliance in water sampling important one what corrective actions shall be taken if wfi samples fail to meet specifications actions include system resanitization increased sampling frequency and investigation to identify and eliminate the source of contamination what methods are commonly used for microbial detection in wfi 
Methods include membrane filtration for viable microorganisms and limulus amebocyte lysate that is LAL test for endotoxins. How to develop water sampling plan in pharmaceutical industry? No well-defined regulatory requirements exist regarding routine sampling frequency and duration. Develop a water sampling plan by identifying critical control points, setting sampling frequencies and choosing appropriate analytical test. What are the common challenges faced during water sampling? Regulatory compliance, contamination, sample stability, sampling location and depth, personal training, equipment calibration and data integrity are the common challenges faced during water sampling. How should chemical attributes of pharmaceutical water be monitored? As per USP chapter number 1231, routine chemical analysis like TOC, conductivity and pH are essential to ensure that water meets the quality required for its designated use. Last and very important question, what advancements in technology have impacted WFI testing in recent years? Recent advancements include online TOC analyzers, real-time microbial monitoring systems, and more efficient filtration technologies, improving the speed and accuracy of WFI quality assessments. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.